The most common abacus type has 13 vertical rods, corresponding to place values. On the classical abacus, the lower deck has 5 beads on each rod, and the upper deck has 2. The decks are divided by a horizontal bar. I consider the 5 plus 2 type to be the easiest for beginners. On a 5 plus 2 abacus you can calculate by using the exchange method. I will demonstrate that later. On the modern type 4 plus 1, the lower deck has 4 beads and the upper deck has 1. If you want to calculate on this abacus type, you must learn how to use uh, so-called complementary numbers. Many people find this difficult in the beginning, but if you want to become a fast calculator and you also want to be able to perform mental calculation, you will eventually have to learn this technique too. For the rightmost rod, the value of the beads on the lower deck are 1. On the next rod, the beads on the lower deck are worth 10, and on the next rod, 100, and so on. The upper beads are worth 5, 50, 500. That means that every upper bead is, uh, is worth 5 of the lower beads on the same rod. When a bead is moved towards the bar, it's considered counted. For example, if a bead on the upper deck and two beads on the lower deck of the rightmost rod are moved towards the bar, you will have seven. To show how it works, I will count up to 500 on the classical abac abacus. One, two, three, four, five. I exchange five one beads to one five bead. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I exchange five one beads to one five bead. And I exchange two five beads to one ten bead. Twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. I exchange five ten beads to one fifty bead. 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. I exchange 5 10 beads to 150 bead. 250 beads will be exchanged for 100 bead. 200, 300, 400, 500. And I exchange 500 beads to 1500 bead. Now the abacus shows 9. And this is 15, 110 and 15. This is 45, 4 tenths and 15. This is 100. And this is 235.